Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coordinator Framework Beginner Tutorial. This is our part number 40. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about Smiley Helper in Coordinator. Now inside this video, we are going to discuss our interesting helper of Coordinator, something called Smiley Helper. We will basically really use in our application as in the comment form or in the chat application. So what basically this helper means? If I back to documentation, now this is our user guide locally downloaded inside Coordinator setup. Go to helper reference. Inside this helper reference, we can find here something called smiley helper. If I click on that, now if I make some zoom, what basically it stands for? The smiley helper file contains the functions that let you manage smileys. Smiley helpers provides some of the faces, some of the images that is GIF images which basically we will use in our application to present some faces, some of the images. What basically they are, we will understand in a second. So to load Smiley helper in our application, firstly what we have done for our previous helper in the same way we can define here. Something called this load helper and this is the helper name. Now to use smiley helper in our application we need some of the GIF images, some of the emoticons. Now here inside this documentation a download link has provided by the user guide. Now before making this video I have downloaded that folder and put inside this learn CI. This is our project path and this is the folder I have downloaded. Now if I unzip that, now inside this folder if I click on that, inside this folder as we can see that there are many faces in terms of GIF images basically that folder provides. Now we can see these images in many of the social sites as even in WhatsApp also. So we are going to use these images into our web page. So how can we use that? Back to our documentation. We have successfully downloaded that folder. Only you need to click on this link and you will download it a zip folder at your system. So scroll down. Now Smiley Helper basically provides some of the functions. By using those functions actually we can use the smiley faces to our application as well as if you want to parse the generated string inside this helper also we have a function. By using that function we can pass we can parse the generated string of the smiley faces. So what are the functions basically provided by our smiley helper? Now if I copy this function name back to our slide open a new tab now the first function is something called get clickable smileys. In the second function, if I scroll down, something called smiley underscore js. All these functions we will understand in a second. In the third function that we are going to use inside this video, something called parse smileys. So if I copy that and pasting it here. So what is the rules? What are the rules of these functions? If I back to our editor, now firstly back to documentation, go at the code and if I copy all these codes, this is the sample code provided by this smiley helper html. Back to editor, let's make a route first. So route, let's my hyphen face. It will use the same helper something called learn helpers controller and inside this controller let's say my face. And let's say helper. Just put semicolon here back to our controller and let's say that public function my face underscore helper. Now inside this method, I'm going to copy and paste all the codes what we have copied from the documentation. In the first step, we have loaded our helper. In the second step, we have loaded our table library. Why we have loaded, we will understand in a second. Now in the third line, we have used the function, basically this function we provided by this smiley helper. 
what basically this function will do inside this first parameter of this function we have provided our smiley faces path now in our case we have stored all these smileys inside this smileys folder and this is our path now we need to pass this path right here so if I get rid of this example.com here and I'm going to use something called base URL this is also a function provided by our URL helper now after getting this base URL we have to attach this function with this smileys folder because a smileys folder contains all the images as we can see here now in the second parameter of this function this is the idea of text area we will understand in a second also now in the third column means inside this line we have used this library table and by making use of that we have generated our eight columns to store all these smiley faces now next we have to make this smiley view to understand all these codes first back to views folder let's make a file now this is the file something called smiley underscore view dot php now inside this file the same code I am going to copy from the documentation and pasting it here so if I copy all these codes back to documentation and pasting it here save all these two files back to our browser open a duplicate tab and instead of this user guide let's see that index.php forward slash let's say my hyphen face now inside this web page as we can see that these are all smileys if I back to code editor let me compare all these lines with the generated th this output we have loaded our helper as well as library the first line says we have loaded successfully all the smiley faces from this folder and is stored inside this variable after getting all these images we have made eight columns now as we count from here one two three four five six seven and the eight eight columns we have generated and we have stored all the columns inside this variable by getting these columns we have put this column inside this generate method and generate method of this table library has generated that table if I back here inspect these now inside these images as we can see that this table has dynamically generated by using generate method and inside this table each TD contain an anchor tag inside this anchor tag on click event, event listener is by default attached in, inside this insert smiley function this is the comments as the ID of this text area if I inspect this text area now as we can see that here is the ID that we have passed right here inside the second parameter as insert smiley function back to code editor now all we have generated all these images and put inside this key of this data array and successfully we have passed to this view file now back to view file inside this view file we also used our smiley underscore chase function this is also a function available function we can see inside this smiley helper this function basically provides some of the javascript codes by the help of those codes we will make call of these functions like on click insert smiley now as we can see that this is the function we have put inside this head tag so back to browser open our head tag inside this head tag this is the script code dynamically generated by that function if I open that inside this code as we can find like insert smiley inside that insert smiley function first we have to pass the string value of that image inside the second we have to pass the field ID in our case we have passed the second parameter as the ID of this text area back to our code editor and finally we have made a form and we have generated these images like inside this table and put here inside this view file okay so back to browser close this inspect reload this page now if I click any of the images like I have to click on the first here 
Here, as we can see that this is the string generated by each images when we click that. Now this is the string value of these images icons. Let's say that we have an application. Inside that application, we have made a comment system. Right here as the comment system has a text area, also a submit button and also we have some these images like smiley helper provides. We have to put some of the comment text right here with these smiley strings. By putting submit button, if the user submits on this form, successfully we have to save all this data to our DB table. Now by getting all these values to our page, how can we parse this value and to convert into this smiley face? So smiley helper provides a third function something called parse smileys. This function basically parse this string value and convert into these images icons. So let's say that we are going to put a comment something let's say welcome or let's say hi online let's say web tutor and I'm going to put some of the icons. Let's say that first icon, second icon and the third icon. Now let's say that we have submitted successfully this data to our database table. Now in the next step, we are going to read our data from the table and parse that string value to our web page. So how can we parse this string value? If I copy this string value back to editor and let's say that here, I'm going to put PR tag, break tag and let's say that by using this PHP code, here I'm going to use the function something called parse underscore let's say smileys. This is the function provided by our smiley helper. And now inside the first parameter, we have to pass the string value. This is the string what we have passed as the comment inside the text area. Inside the second parameter, I'm going to pass the smileys path. So the smileys is stored inside this base URL and we have the folder something called smileys. So if I save this file, back to editor, reload this page. Now as we can see that the string what we have entered right here is converted into this format. So this is one of the interesting helper code writer provides. By using this smiley helper, we can make a simple application of comment system to our application. Inside that, we can take the feedback or the comments from our user with these images and we can parse all these string values by getting it from our database table and put here by, by using our function something called parse smileys. Inside the first parameter, we have to pass the string value and inside the second parameter, we have to pass the smiley folder. So inside this video session guys, we understood about smiley helper in CodeIgniter. So if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.